So hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're new, hello, welcome. I'm Jack, but when I'm in drag, I go by Luna Rose, because I'm the flower that blooms at night. And this is my blue tartan smoky transformation. I did a green tartan look two weeks ago, and a red tartan look three weeks ago, to complete my little trio trifecta of a tartan tartan look I'm bringing this kind of november -y time on my channel. I know this video isn't quite going up in November, and I know I missed my Monday upload time that I wanted to get it done by, but... Oh my god, I have just been, like, so under the weather and such, like, in a depression and anxiety-fueled, like, funk. Like, if you follow me on Snapchat, I've been talking to a lot of you guys, and it just made me feel so much better just to play makeup today, and I'm probably, like, to 80% out of, like, 100% normal myself, but, um, yeah, I'm feeling a lot better, so thank you for your messages, and get well soon, and just kind of checking in on me. I appreciate it a lot, and, yeah, without further ado, let's get on with this transformation, shall we? But before we do, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any other looks you want to see from me, and subscribe to a bitch and hit that notification bell to tell you when I upload. There should hopefully be a new video every single Monday, and this week, since I miss an upload, there's going to be a video on Wednesday and on Friday, so stay tuned for them. I really hope you guys enjoy this transformation, and thanks for watching. So I'm starting this look off with a freshly cleansed and shaved face. Also, my hair is now pink. On Wednesday, there is going to be a chit-chat get ready with me where I just kind of do some life updates and explain about my new pink unicorn hair. And if you want any other updates, I will leave my Snapchat like on screen now. So yeah, go follow me on Snapchat. I'm always on there posting and... I pretty much do like behind the scenes while I'm filming, so um, come chat with me on Snapchat while I get in drag next time. But first, I pretty much prime my skin, then almost forget to colour correct my beard area, so then I took this orange toned colour corrector from Give Face Cosmetics, which I got in a haul like a month and a bit ago, and I still haven't used it, so this is my first time trying it, and it's really good at cancelling out those kind of blue tones. So I pretty much just put that over my beard area, set it lightly with powder, and then went in with my Coriolan TV Paint Sticks, which is super full coverage drag makeup. I will leave my full coverage highlight and contour routine down below, but pretty much a full coverage foundation, full coverage highlight, and then a full coverage contour, just to give me that super natural feminine look, clearly. And I like to go pretty heavy on like my cream contours and highlights, just because my face is so round. I then took a little bit of this kind of white cream highlight from Give Face Cosmetics also, and just put that under my eyes and kind of just brought any of those areas further forward that I wanted to. I'm slowly using a lot more of their cosmetic products, and honestly, I'm really blown away with the quality for the price. I then heavily set my face with powder and just quickly filled in my brows off camera while that baked, and then brushed off any excess. To prime my eyes, I went in with a Smashbox eye primer, and then for my eyes, I'm going in with this absolutely stunning Friendcation palette from Dose of Colours. In collaboration with Desi and Katie here on YouTube, which I absolutely love their channels. They are sickening. So I first just buffed this nice transition colour kind of through the upper area of my eyes and blended it back towards my temples just to kind of start the definition of my eyes and then deepened it with that slightly darker brown in the palette and then went in with this gorgeous warm tone kind of terracotta brown and just patted that onto the kind of outer V of my eye as well as really close to that like nose contour area and then just buffed it all out to give me a super like neutral kind of cat eye look and then darkened it with that gorgeous deep chocolate brown like that brown is next level fierce. I then carved out my eyelid using my Kevin Acorn Essential Skin Enhancer Concealer, just so I do have bigger eyes than my natural hooded boy eyes. I then patted the blue shade in the palette all over that concealer, and it works stunning with a finger, but with a brush, it just looks really muddy and weird. Like, it didn't pick up any of the gl like, glimmer or glitter, so then I took my Huda Beauty Bright Blue Electric Palette color thing, and then just patted that kind of where my cut crease was and kind of over that like inner area and then deep in the outer V with a little bit more of the dark brown but where I put that blue with my finger it's like beautiful. I then heavily smoked at my lower lash line using those same colours and then popped on some winged liner off a camera. To highlight my brow bone I just went in with Taco from Sugar Pill and then I smoked out and set my eyeliner with a bullet proof from Sugar Pill. They're black eyeshadow, I can never remember what it's called, and it's in my little Z palette, so um, yeah. I then went in with my Makeup Revolution Highlight and Contour Palette and just used the lighter shade just to emphasize kind of the high points of my face. And then I wanted my eyes to have a little bit more of a pop, so I added the blue eye shade from the Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit to my inner corners and brow bone. I then really, really, really heavily contoured my face. I don't know why I went so hard, but um, 
kind of living for House Chisel that I actually ended up looking. I then packed blush everywhere since blush is my favourite thing in drag and I go ham with it all the time. Speaking of going ham, I applied highlighter so heavy that even Pharamone is quaking in her boots and I use a Flexitarian from Colourpop for that. For my lips, I went in with Milani O Natural and then popped a flesh pot from MAC over it and that is the finished look. All you gotta do is pop on some lashes or wig, a change into my outfit and I really hope you guys enjoyed this transformation. Thanks for watching.